Back to school, those three little words might stress you out because it means buying brand new clothes for the kids. Or does it? Instead of spending a fortune, why not upcycle or transform thrift store clothing into something new? Revive, revamp, and redo vintage pieces just in time for school and also save a bundle as well. Here to show us how it's done is owner and designer of Redo Kids. We have T Sarah Terzinski. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. All this right. is so cool. Let's yeah. get it started. Well, and you brought all kinds of demos today, including uh, transforming jeans into a skirt. Yes, this is a super fun thing to do for little girls for back to school. They can kind of do it up themselves. So I got these jeans at a thrift store okay. for a dollar, and I bleached them out because they had some stains on them. You okay. know, you can still buy them if they have a little stain on them, and you can actually ask for a little discount. Oh. Um, so what you do with these is you take your jeans, and mm -hmm. I already went ahead and cut the seam. Okay. So you want to cut on the inside of the seam, and then you kind of flatten it out just like that. And then, okay. since this is for a little, little girl, it's going to be a pretty short jean skirt, and she can wear leggings underneath it. Then you take your scissors. Do you want you guys want to cut for me? Sure. Or just cut, just cut yeah. straight, straight across. across. Yep. Just so basically kinda, cutting the legs right you're off. You're cutting straight the across. legs right across. Yep. And literally, that's it. Sometimes you have a little bit of a triangle left. Thank you. And you could take a little bit of the leg and cut out a triangle and just kind of just to fill it in. Fabric glue that in. Okay. And by the way, how much did you spend to buy these jeans? This was a dollar. A dollar for a these dollar. jeans. A wow. dollar. And these patches I had okay. left over from a dollar section somewhere. Mm -hmm. And so you can just use the fabric glue. And you just, you know, put the fabric glue on there and then you just kind of put them wherever you want. My daughter picked the poop emoji. Of course. Apparently that's, that's important. It's a thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, and the yeah. fabric glue, this works, this will stay on even it during will. the wash? It will stay on even during wash. You need to, I always let it dry for a day before I wash it, but it will. Um, and oh. it stays on pretty good. Now you want to wash it gentle and then flat dry it obviously um, but then in the back you kind of cut up a couple of inches into the butt area and okay. then you could put a little bit in here and it kind of ends up looking a little bit of the extra fabric right up in there and it kind of ends up looking like this okay kind and of see by the way sorry to interrupt but do you use the fabric glue just yes to glue so this now down. you can take the fabric glue if one of you wants to go ahead and just put it right in that seam and just that yep. will just create that yeah it'll seamless just there we go. Yeah, and you can stitch it with a needle okay. and thread if you want, or you can use a sewing machine, but I find yeah, fabric glue works great. Skirts. I love and then it. And there's swipes, and then the, this is actually from an upcycled skirt, some um, sequins that I had, and you just cut it to fit the pockets, and you can hot, or glue those on. And That's it a great up. idea. So yeah. looking Cute. like that. Cool. Okay, let's talk about this tank top, because you're yes. using here like an old white t-shirt. An old white t-shirt, got from we the We all have store. those. We all have those. <laughs> and this is really, a, this was actually my old t-shirt, and I cut it down into this little tank top. So you basically just cut the side off the t-shirt right mm -hmm. okay and then um, you cut right here and you're cutting so you're cutting below the neckline you're, then yeah you cut just right to just, the neck just to remove yep. this part get rid it. of that part okay and then you can come down if one of you guys wants to just cut right along that line for me okay and then literally that's all you do you can then when you when you're all done you can tie a little knot okay. up at the top up here like I did on this side and that's how the t the tank will stay on. But then, oh. how, but then you have these open sides. So then, what you do once you do that is you turn your tank inside out and you use the fabric glue, or you can stitch it. Or you can stitch just it just right okay. there. That's so it. You could hand stitch, or if you have yep. a, just a let it sewing dry. machine at home, yep. you could and then you've got up the side. a cute little tank, and it doesn't fray, so you're not having the hem things. I love it. Great. Okay, yeah. so we've moved on. What is this? Okay, so this is patches. How to do your own patch on clothing, like right? An iron on? Iron on, yep. So okay. you take this great stuff called Wonder Under. You can get yeah. it at any hobby store. You know what I'm talking about. And you basically turn your shirt inside out. I kind of like this little dog thing we had going here. So you put it on the back of the patch and then you iron. And you let you iron a little bit. Okay. You just iron it. Back and forth? Yep, back and forth. And it, it'll adhere to that. And then... And this is on the inside of the shirt? Yeah, you do it on the inside. Okay. The Wonder Under has two sides, a, a smooth side and kind of a lumpy side. You put the lumpy side against the fabric. Okay. And then when that you're done, good, you, you yep, that's okay. perfect. Then you want to turn the shirt right side out. And then all you're going to do is cut it down to the size you want. And then you can use this as a patch, which I already did with this little guy, okay. which was a t-shirt that was actually my daughter's that was forever old. And I just love the Paul Frank on it. So then if you want to peel that off the back, okay. one, that's exactly what it'll end up looking like. Oh. And then you've got your iron just, patch. Yeah. yeah. And you just put it yes. on there. And you put that on there. And then you can take um, a little piece of fabric or a towel or whatever you just like. Just to protect the design. Yep, because it'll kind of... Worn iron. Yep, and then you iron, right on iron it on for about a minute. And okay. Very quickly with yes. the beanie. Beanie, you just take scissors. So you take a beanie of the size that you want to make. You put it against a sweater or skirt or whatever you like, and you cut around the edge. Just cut around the edge, and then you take um, two, the two pieces, put them together with a little stitch or fabric glue, 
and it's as easy as that to make a beanie cap. Oh my gosh, I love it. Great this idea. So cute. Yeah, no so fun. Ever no? Okay, we have a couple of models. We do. By the way, should we bring out uh, linen? Yes. So we can see. So, this is a blanket. Yeah, here's the before. Okay, it's so just one of those kind of Saraba blankets. Yeah, and I loved it, but it got a stain on the middle of it. <laughs> so I was like, but I still want to make it into something. So I cut it in half, um, and cut the piece that was stained off of it, and then I um, just stitched it together, stitched along the sides, and made a little cowl neck for it. And now she's got a cute little <sighs> poncho to wear to school. You know, gets chilly. It's a great transition from summer into fall where you don't yeah. want to wear heavy coats and things, but you still want something to keep. I love it. And you could keep... borrow that too. I know. I get it fits me too. Yeah. So yeah, she's 13 now, but I can borrow her stuff. What a cool idea. Yeah. Courtney, so, I could totally see you wearing something. I like would that. love that. Okay, if we can um, pan down, because I think she had pom-poms oh, on yeah. her oh, shoes oh, too, oh, right? Let's see your shoes, sis. Sorry, I forgot. So this is a great thing to do with some um, yarn I got in an estate sale. You can make little pom-poms for their hair and their shoes, and it's it's very easy to do. I have it on my Instagram TV. Okay. But super, super easy tutorial, and they look very, very cute. And then there you can kind of jazz up an outfit. Now the viewers I love can. it. Yeah, there you now go. we can see it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, thanks so much, Lennon. And now we have, um, this is the Star Wars t-shirt yes. before. This is the Star Wars t-shirt before. This is Sebastian, and he loves Star Wars. So we took this thrift store find of a plaid shirt. Will you flip around for me, buddy? There you go. And we made an iron-on. Oh, so there love you go. It. There's the iron-on. And I actually stitched around the edge, too, if you're feeling a little, you know, you want to go the extra mile and have right. it really stay on. You could stitch around the edge. But then it's this great one-of-a-kind little shirt that he's got. And those are jeans that were his that were too short. I just chopped them off and just stressed them out a little bit. And, and that was using the same method you just showed us, yes, by the way. Yes, so exactly. I love same the Star method. Wars. We do uh, cool. very quickly have some other before and after yeah, we have, uh, pictures oh, yeah. of things that you've made. Yes, this was a dress that I found at Goodwill for $3. And I made it into this romper for Little Miss Madison, and it looks so cute on her. I literally just cut it down. And this was a skirt, another Goodwill find that I made into a romper for a little girl with a headpiece. And a headscarf. And a headscarf. That was a uh, vintage silk dress that I loved. I made it into a top for linen. Oh my and then gosh. I used the bottom of it to make a dress for a little girl with a head wrap. Sarah, okay. these are great this ideas. We've got to have you back. Thank you yeah. so much. And thanks, thanks, thanks to Sebastian me, and Lennon. In the meantime, if you would like more fashion inspiration, you can check out redokids.com.